Hi, welcome back. I've spent some time pontificating and I still don't know what spaghetti flies are. I'm gonna stick to my previous theory that spaghetti flies are the same as fruit flies, given that tomatoes are fruit. It's a bit of a leap in logic, but let's find out how spaghetti flies play into the, uh, the last straw in a moment very high. I'll never forget. And, of course, beyond the uh, thinking about spaghetti flies, we did just win. And we did just prove that a lot of people are traitors and would support Hearst High, which is completely unacceptable. And it'll take so much for me to even consider forgiving a lot of you, to be honest. Mia, especially, like, what on earth were you thinking? Come on. Oh, right. We are also finding out more about Emma, who we haven't treated... <laughs> As a, as a friend, really, so apologies, Emma. Let's find out what you've been dealing with. Yeah, maybe if you, we were Hearst High students, which I guess a lot of us are, seeing as how everyone cheered for them, but Barry High is accepting of this sort of stuff. I mean, Oliver has not been a good friend, but Emma, you know you can trust him. You know you can trust a lot of people here. Okay, maybe not a lot, but a few people here. Michael can help you out. Aiden would be a, would be a good uh, confidant. Well, I guess that's it. Maria. Maria would be probably a good person to tell about this stuff. Louise, your boyfriend. <laughs> Maybe start there. That's like four people you can trust. So that's, you know, <laughs> that's something at least. <laughs> exactly. Well said, Oliver. Your problems are our problems, unless it involves diamonds. <laughs> I can keep your secret, sure. I'm not sure about everyone. I think Caleb would report you to uh, Isa immediately for having a job when you're not allowed to. Uh, don't trust Morgan. Don't trust Autumn. Frank. Frank's a no-go. Mia and Peyton and all those people who cheered for Hearst. Yeah, they can't be trusted either. So I don't think everyone would want to help. But you have a few, you have a few friends who'd be willing to hear you out for sure. There you go. Okay, that's a good start. Uh, well, Emma, do you want to hear a secret of mine? I've been uh, going behind Michael's back and flirting pretty aggressively with Maria. Um, just thought you'd want to know. <laughs> Free ice cream, because we have that, so that yeah, there we go. Perfect french fries, just like dump a boatload of salt on them. That's the McDonald's way. And it works. McDonald's fries? Amazing. <laughs> Okay, at least we don't have to uh, spend diamonds to do this. This is good. Ah, we don't even get to see the scene. I guess it makes sense, but... Would have been nice to uh, extend this out a little bit more, you know? But straight to Monday. It's 
it's more because of what happened on the sidelines of the game. I think band and cheerleading has a lot of explaining to do. Michael. Ugh! What are these options? Are you serious? I, I'd rather stand in the corner of the room, to be honest with you. But we... Ugh. Do we choose a traitor or a snitch? This chapter should have been called Between a Rock and a Hard Place, not Spaghetti Flies, because I don't I don't want I don't want this. Neither. I wonder if I just stare at the screen long enough, will the game get the hint and move on? Traitor? Snitch. You know, if you've watched my videos, you'll know that I often bring up the coin flip as the ultimate decider. So Siri, coin tosu. Okay, then it looks like we're going for Caleb. I mean, if that's what the coin flip decrees, then we shall follow that decree to the end. I wasn't on your side, I was on my side. Screw off, Caleb. Screw off? Is that a thing? I meant to say piss off. And screw you. <laughs> yeah, you could go screw you could go screw off if you want. You could piss off, you could screw yourself, do whatever you want, Caleb. I don't care, I'm not on your side. Yeah, you know what else is dark and depressing? Your face. <laughs> As much as I dislike band and cheerleading after what they did, <laughs> and as much as I want them to suffer, not like this, come on. <laughs> she can, because we're being complacent, and Oliver's included in that. He hasn't done anything to resolve this Issa issue. He's done literally nothing. Yeah, yeah. Caleb, oh, Caleb, are you growing a spine? Hold up. Is this uh, is this biology class? Because I wasn't expecting to uh, see evolution today. Wow. Maddox, I'm sorry I didn't spend diamonds to see life through your sad eyes, but like. I think we can do something, and oh, you know what we can do? We can dress to impress. <laughs> totally killing the vibes, totally killing the mood right now. I spent a lot of money for a new uh, suit, so I want to wear it. Is this it? Ugh, yuck! No, never again. Where is my green suit? Fancy? Just my stripe? Is that what it's called? Yuck. Okay, no, none of these. Oh, here it is. There it is. We're wearing our fancy dress suit to school, because why not? <laughs> now let's get back <laughs> on track, back to the serious conversation. And we're looking good while having the serious conversation, just gonna say. Aiden, 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 just be, I stood up for you, man, and you're justifying cheering for Hearst? No matter how hellish, maybe this is like my uh, patriotic side, if you will, <laughs> coming up, but no matter how hellish things are at Barry, you can never cheer for Hearst. You can cheer against Barry, you cannot cheer for Hearst. 
and I hope some of you can get that through your thick heads because if I ever see anyone cheering for Hearst again, we're gonna have some words. How about we all apologize? I've never been with you, I've been with very high spiritually. Caleb! No one asked you to step in here. Be quiet. No scene again. The game just knows we're not spending diamonds on Emma now. <laughs> that it'll just like jump forward. <laughs> Use Emma as transition scenes. I can't say we don't deserve it, but okay. My school clothes? These are fancy clothes, Dad. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you want me to go ice skating with Michael for no reason? Who needs... Ah, uh, Emma. But Emma won't even be a choice because she's dating Luis. And the game thinks we only want to hang out with people we're dating. <laughs> Listen, if Emma's an option, we're going with her. If she's not, we're not going. I don't need a distraction. I need to act. You've had too many distractions, Oliver, if I'm being honest. And you're uh, being a little pathetic, not uh, standing up against Isa. So there it is, Emma. Let's go. Easy choice. Sorry to my two uh, to my two crushes who I've been flirting with a lot, but Emma needs a pick me up, and pick me up I shall. Pick her up I shall. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if we'll even get a chance to kiss Emma. That'd be pretty awkward with Luis and all, but... <laughs> yeah, just like you. Just kidding? Don't kill me, Luis! <laughs> Yeah, least I could do, actually, after neglecting you for so long. So you're a pro at this, Emma? You're gonna show me the ropes? Or the skates, I guess? Uh, you're not even great at it, but you've been going every year since you were set. How old are you? You're like 16? Nine years? And you're not good at skating? You're not great at skating? After nine years? I'm pretty new. Yes, please. Show me your ways. A little twirl when we're new to skating? Look at us. Surprisingly, yes, I am. And I'm skating in my suit, by the way. Do you know how expensive this is? <laughs> Should I be skating in a 25 diamond suit? The suit cost more than this experience with you, Emma. So uh, be careful.
I'm assuming a figure eight is in the shape of an eight. <laughs> a bigger weight, a delivery freight. Okay, that's funny. There's a second half. Focus. Have I impressed Emma enough to improve my relationship with her? Or to improve school spirit somehow? No relationship up? Really? <laughs> a high five and a celebration hug. 100% if we hadn't set Luis up with Emma, this would have been a kiss. But let's hug it out. Because we're friends and we're, we've earned one. Yeah, that's right. Maybe it's because I like you too. And maybe it's because you were my first friend at Barry High. You know, for a completely unrelated and clearly uh, filler part of this chapter, that was pretty nice. Pretty fun hanging out with Emma. This is my group. This is my this is my posse right here, except for Wes. He can screw off. <laughs> I just said it again. <laughs> he can go screw himself. He can piss off. Screw off. That's my new thing, okay? It's just, let's accept it. Screw off is a thing now. Wes, kindly screw off. <laughs> hey, Michael, we planning something? <laughs> Wes, like something he'll do specifically or? A food fight, good on us. Yeah, especially not with this 25 diamond suit I don't want to be. Thanks for the warning, pal. Are you going to charge me for an extra tray? <laughs> this choice is almost too stupid not to pick. <laughs> like, should I... Oh, I can't even change my outfit now. I was going to change into my, like, basketball outfit or something. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's the selling point for this? Just, can I have more fun with a tray? If, if anything, instead of an extra tray, I'd want to grab extra food so I could, you know, have more ammunition to take Issa down. Let's grab an extra tray. Why not? Feeling very generous with my diamonds today, I guess. 15 diamonds. Can you believe a tray is almost as expensive as a suit? That is... That's... Yeah. It's about right. It's gonna be you, isn't it, Wes? I, I want to get involved in the action. I don't want to be a si on the sideline here, okay? S school cafeteria person? Lunch person give me an extra heap oh i was just gonna say give me an extra heap of spaghetti and then i realized wait <laughs> is is this spaghetti is the spaghetti flies in the chapter title about like flying spaghetti <laughs> rather than like flies who are attracted to spaghetti i think <laughs> i Oh man, I spent an embarrassing amount of time on and off camera thinking about what a spaghetti fly was. I even searched up spaghetti fly. And now I realize that spaghetti flies is not the plural of spaghetti fly. As in, it is thrown and will fly through the air. That makes much more sense. Am I the one who's gonna make the spaghetti fly? I want, I want to make spaghetti fly. I really do. What's up? Hey.
Maria, I hope you have an extra tray because I want you involved in this. I need you to hurl as much food as possible at Frank. Well, Frank's a nice guy, but he kind of deserves it. At Morgan. Morgan is enemy number one, target number one. Caleb, Caleb is clearly target number two. Beyond that, you can target the band, the cheerleaders, Julian even. I don't care, but just make sure you get Morgan and just make sure you get Caleb. And hey, this really is a a Civil War moment. I like this. Ah, here. Caleb's here to cause some trouble. And you're picking on Ezra? Caleb, what kind... Jeez. Wes, if you're going to start the food fight, start it now. I don't want more angst. It's Louise. Louise is the one who starts the... Oh my gosh. Of all the people, it's going to be him? Are you serious? Okay. I mean, it's kicked off. This is good. Let's get this done. Oliver, don't just stand there. Throw your food now. Friendly fire? Yes, Ko, the instigator. Let's freaking go, Ko. <laughs> My favorite character. Pixelberry, please let us date her. If she's into it. Maybe she's not. <laughs> and sorry about that, Michael, if you heard my uh, inner thoughts spilling over in there. <laughs> Yo, Nishan's first appearance. I forgot that this guy looks kind of cool in this uh, in this book compared to his very uh, childish semi-mohawk hair in the original HSS. Nishan, you look good, man. Nice to see you finally in book two. Don't just fend off food. D- don't you know that offense is the best defense? Hurry it up. I should defend. Michael doesn't need defending. Emma needs defending. Maria doesn't want any part of this. I'm not going to defend Caleb of all people. Come on. In fact, I should I should launch my food at Caleb. Emma, I just spent time skating with you and spent diamonds on you. I know I've spent way more on Maria, but if we're just looking at this chapter, we're defending Maria. Actually, how would Maria react? Would she be the type of person to say, thanks, but I don't need defending from no one. I'll defend myself. You know what? Let's hope Louise can be a good boyfriend and defend Emma if she needs defending. Maybe it's the opposite. You know, Louise seemed pretty distressed too. So maybe Emma can go and defend Louise. Maria, I'm defending you. Oh, I can defend more people. Okay, let's go. Hey, Emma. <laughs> this is just a chance to boost stats with everyone. I'm down. I spent 15 diamonds for this tray, so I better get the most out of it.
Aiden, despite what you said, you're still a good dude, so... I'm gonna help you out. Not with this tray, I won't. Well, I think we've helped everyone, so... <laughs> I'm not helping Caleb, dude. How dramatic. I love it. <laughs> also, this is a waste of food, by the way. Like, let's not make mis any mistakes about this. Food fights are fun in theory and in stories like this. But wow, what a waste of food. And I hope everyone in this room is committed to cleaning this mess up because I do not want the school janitors to have to clean up our mess for us. Community service for everyone here, myself included. Even though I haven't thrown anything, I've clearly been involved and I would like to throw something. So I'm helping clean up. And Luis, you said it was an accident, you're cleaning up too. Target, target acquired. Everyone, focus attention. Three, two, one. <laughs> Please, someone throw something at Principal Issa. Please, just do it. Oliver, grow a spine for once in this freaking game. Do something worthwhile. You've done absolutely nothing all game to stand up to Isa. Now's your chance. <gasps> okay. <laughs> yes. Yo. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Caleb, of all people? Am I reading this right? Then he, Caleb is silent for a moment. Then he lifts the remainder of spaghetti from a nearby plate and throws it directly at Principal E. Caleb, my man, I, know, I knew you were undercover this whole time. Of course you wouldn't snitch on us. You were infiltrating from the inside. I, I'm sorry for doubting you, man. You know, my bond with you has never wavered. Everything I've said to criticize you has just been an act. Secretly, deep down, I've always known that you were on our side. I always knew you couldn't be a hall monitor. You bleed the red of very high. I am so grateful to you, and I knew this was coming, and I never doubted you for a second. <laughs> Let's freaking go! Yes, this is... Screenshot this. This is what I want. <laughs> join in. Join in. Yeah. Everyone else, come on. Ezra, come on. You know you want to throw some stuff at her. Ko, come on. Ko has to do it. That's it? Caleb's the only one with a spine? Not even... Listen, Oliver, we know is useless. He wouldn't have done any. But Ko? You're saying Ko didn't throw some spaghetti at the principal? Okay, maybe she has her reasons. Maybe she has more things to consider, especially as a senior. But Michael? Maria? Come to think of it, there are a lot of spineless characters in this game. That said, Caleb was one of them, so I'm surprised no one else has uh, made the uh, spaghetti fly, <laughs> as it were. Caleb's uh, finally belatedly realized the, uh, the error in his ways. Principal Issa threatens to expel Caleb. Yeah, see, that wouldn't have been, well, it probably would have been a problem, but it wouldn't have been a, as big a problem as if everyone targeted Issa and everyone threw heaps of food at her. Who knew? In the time of need, when Barry High was at its lowest, we had to rely on Caleb suddenly growing a spine. And I'm here for it. Caleb, everything is forgiven. You're all right in my book. 
and let's just see how the next chapter goes and whether you will finally be the face the much needed public face of this rebellion because we haven't organized at all we've let isa run the school into the ground and have done absolutely nothing i would have thought it would be ko or maria or michael or wes or for some reason oliver but if it's caleb who gets us started down the right path then so be it welcome aboard the resistance welcome aboard the rebellion.